Been almost two months now using the Dragon Door ISO Chain Classic Bar and Chain Device, and I wanted to share with you in today's video the four primary exercises that I believe are the best way to build muscle and strength with a bar and chain device, either the ISO Chain or something you may have DIY'd for yourself, and of course, two arm exercises that I also add kind of as a bit of a supplement. Now, the reason why I chose these exercises is because they require very little skill, but they require a lot of work on the muscles, so it's easier to create a stimulus for building muscle and strength. But they're also light weight and heavy technique. So they're putting our body in a uh, technically challenging position, so that way we have a lot of stress on the muscle, but less stress on the body itself. And this kind of formula applies also to dynamic work and stuff, but it works really well for isometrics as well. Let's explore the exercises now. So exercise number one, the Zercher Lunge. Always a big fan of Zercher type movements. We're holding weight in the crooks of our elbows, either with sandbags, barbells, but with the ISO chain works very well here. We're also doing it as a lunge, so that way it's a unilateral exercise, so our working leg is working like gangbusters. It also allows you to identify any sort of imbalances between your right and left leg, and it also helps to improve the stability of that leg as well. Plus, with the Zercher position being upright, keeping the arms kind of in close to the torso, this also places a lot of stress on your core, so this is effectively a very good ab exercise to boot. So we're just holding the bottom position, lift the back knee up, get that knee coming on forward as long as the heel is down, perfectly safe on the knee, and then driving with as much weight on that front leg as possible, holding for time, and then reset and go on the other side. The second exercise is a deadlift, which is one of the most common things done with a bar and chain style apparatus. But the way I like to do it is I go with a Romanian style deadlift, so my knees aren't bent, uh, other than keeping my hips back, so my knees aren't forward, I should more say. And I use a narrow stance with the bar pretty darn low. So what this is doing is it's putting me in a very mechanically disadvantaged position, so it's not gonna take a whole lot of pulling from my upper body to really make my entire extension or posterior chain light up like crazy. So narrow stance, once again, using a lot of stability, pushing those hips back, and it really helps you dial in if you've got good neuromuscular proficiency in your hips, your glutes, your hamstrings, and all those other muscles, as opposed to just your lower back. Exercise number three is a standing chest press. Now this one's right out of the manual, the ultimate isometrics manual from Dragon Door, which kind of complements the ISO chain. And you can do this, of course, with almost any sort of isometric device that you're standing on, where we are driving our arms up and in, which works your shoulders, your chest, your triceps, all of your push chain muscles, but it also puts a lot less stress on your shoulder joint at the same time. The key here is you wanna make sure that you're keeping your arms in tight. You should physically feel your elbows next to your rib cage, so you're driving in and up at the same time. Different people, depending on your physical structure, are gonna feel different with the bar at different positions. I feel better when it's a little bit higher. My elbows are ever so slightly in front of me. Some people feel better when their elbows are slightly back. Play with it and see what feels best for you. And then finally, we have the seated row. And I like the seated row as opposed to the bent over row because it's so tempting to turn that bent over row into more of a deadlift type of motion, which we already covered. So for the sake of not having so much redundancy and really emphasizing that pulling motion with the upper body, sitting on the ground, feet are against the plate and pulling back with the arms at about a 90 degree angle, squeezing in, that's gonna light up your traps, your lats, get your biceps and your shoulders to a very high degree. Now those four exercises alone, just that, will cover everything in a very practical and functional way. Now, some of you may say, yeah, but I want a little bit more in my arms. If that's the case, then these are the two exercises that I highly recommend. So when it comes to working the biceps, I recommend not so much the standing bicep curl, where your elbows are by your sides and your hands are out in front of you, kind of like you're carrying a lunch tray. Instead, practicing something often referred to as a drag curl. And drag curl, instead of having your hands out in front and kind of putting a little bit of resistance out in front of your body, you bring your elbows backwards and the handle is right against your belly. This does a couple of things, but primarily it puts your arm at a mechanically disadvantaged advantaged position, so you can't put as much force into the handle, which means easier on your joints, but it also makes it a hell of a lot easier to work your biceps a heck of a lot harder. And then when it comes to the triceps, I recommend the hinged triceps kickback. So we're bent over, we're hinged, 
and we are driving our arms straight back, little bit of a kink in the elbows, so that way we are still focusing on that extension of the arms, but also involving the extension of the shoulder at the same time, which is going to light up a lot more of the total muscle mass of your tricep versus just a standing uh, type of tricep extension. So there you go, my favorite exercises for bar and chain isometric devices. Check out the sample workout left down below in the description. You can also find more information down there on the IsoChain, the Ultimate Isometrics Manual, and of course there's more videos here if you wanna check those out as well. Talk to you next week, tell them to be fit, live free.